This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals Express Course. Lesson, I'm on Lesson 2, Coding with Angry Birds, Puzzle 8. And it's the Challenge Puzzle. Challenge puzzles are lessons designed to stretch your brain. Just do the best you can. Yes, uh, we'll, I'm ready. All right, it's time to get angry. <laughs> uh, challenge, this code has a lot of bugs. You'll need to remove some of the blocks and add others. Always keep in mind you can click the bulb for hints. So I'll need to remove some blocks and add others. Let's see what it does right now. We move forward, we move forward, go right, forward. Oh, do we jump on TNT? Not, not a good decision. Oh, we moved forward twice. Let's try moving forward once and then left. Let's see where that goes. Left, okay. And code runs in order, right? So you just want to walk through it step by step. Sometimes I literally do it every time I add a block, I hit run. Because it helps me visualize it. I think that's okay, though. Then I'm going to turn right. And then move forward. I don't think I'll need that. Maybe this? Let's give this a try. So I'm moving forward, right, forward, left, right, forward, 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 right, forward. But da Oh, that was tricky, though. So many lines of code. Um, I could definitely use your repeat as well. We haven't really talked about this much, but so it does give you 13 blocks. But if you look, I'm duplicating some code here, such as, oh, except one place I could use it is right here. So I have three move forwards in a row. So I could just do this. And then it will move forward three times, just like I had before with this pink block. Any duplicate code is where you can use repeat blocks. So this would run the same. And we save one block. But ah, uh, <laughs> same result. Yeah. And we'll dive more into repeat blocks as we go. But cool. Onward!